Hi there, in this video we'll talk about an economic application of functions and this application is known as Leffer curve. It is basically attributed to a supply side economist whose name was Arthur Leffer. In 1974 he gave this idea and uh, basically it's a theoretical relationship between the rates of taxation and the corresponding level of government revenue. So, we can formulate this in the form of a function as we are talking about an economic application of functions. So, government revenue depends upon the tax rates. Graphically speaking, we can make a graph to understand this. This is the Leffer curve graph. And here on x axis, we have tax rate, and on y axis, we have tax revenue. And uh, you can see that tax rate as it's a rate. So it varies uh, in percentage terms. It starts from 0% till 100%. And tax revenue is plotted on y-axis. So the curve is in this way, which is a kind of inverted U and a little skewed on the right. Uh, what happens is that this is the maximum point. Here the revenue will be maximized. As you can see, this will be the highest value of tax revenue. And here and here it is at the lowest possible level. Here you can see it is increasing. Uh, there is a positive slope and afterwards there is a negative slope. It means that here it was increasing. There was incentive uh, due to the increasing tax rate. But after that there is disincentive due to which we have entered into the region of declining revenue. Here it was serving as an incentive and there was region of increasing revenues. So this is how it works. This is how it moves from various points to other points. This is the growth maximizing point. It shows that the economic growth would be maximized at this level because of the forces that will be affected by tax rate. This is that suitable level after which the economic growth will not be maximized because this is showing quite a bit of high level of tax which can be detrimental for the economic growth. At this point, however, it is from the economic variable of tax revenue very much desirable because it is raising the tax revenue to the highest level. Uh, but you know that economics is a game of various economic variables and their uh, interaction with each other. And in the consequence, not all of the variables will be in the most desirable situation. For example, tax revenue requires that tax rate should be this much. And so this would be the uh, best tax rate from the tax revenue point of view. And the growth rate of the economy, the tax rate would be the most suitable from the growth point of view. So uh, here growth will be desirable here, the tax revenue will be desirable. So this is how the uh, Leffer curve can give us two options either to maximize the growth or to maximize the uh, tax revenue. So this is how it works and we can further uh, understand this concept um, till the point of uh, revenue maximization. We can see that the relationship is positive till that certain point that is this point that we were referring to revenue maximization. The relationship here is positive but afterwards the relationship becomes negative. So before it, the relationship or the function shows that there is positive relationship between the two variables. But after this point, the relationship becomes negative or inverse. Hence, the tax revenue now is inversely related with the tax revenues. So the mathematics behind it can be understood with the help of this rules theorem, which is not a part of our course at this stage. But we can use this to find out the tax revenue maximizing point on the Leffer curve. It is basically a calculus based theorem that we can understand at a different level of scope of the course. So this was Leffer curve that gives us understanding of the uh, tax revenue and the economic growth of a country. And it is basically a function that we are referring to and its diagrammatical depiction as well. 